yeah let us see the question what it is given we need to differentiate this function what is that function they have given here y is equal let me write it down differentiate the function what is y here they have given y is equals to sine inverse of 2x into root of 1 minus x square if they ask that is to do the differentiation for this function we can do easily right whenever if they give some specific conditions right what the what are the conditions let us see you need to differentiate this with respect to x if x value lies between minus 1 by root 2 to root 2 and my 1 by root 2 to x and minus 1 to minus 1 by root 2 let us see how to do this agree so first of all let me we have taken what is y here y is nothing but sine inverse of 2x into root of 1 minus x square whenever if you see i think uh, in the playlist of a trigonometry i have given uh, if a specific uh, question specific kind of a questions is a uh, uh, exist then what is the substitution we have to take i have mentioned there you can check it there is it okay so in this case we are having 1 minus x square so better you can substitute either cos or either sign anything will work here is it okay so what we will do we will consider let x is equals to sine theta if x is sine theta means what happened to theta we can send the sign to other side we can conclude that theta is equals to what sign inverse of x is it okay so what is the sine inverse of x we know what is the range of sine inverse of x so range of sine inverse of x will be always it will be lies between minus 9 to plus 90 so we can say that theta will be what theta will be lies between minus 90 what is this this is nothing but the range of sine inverse of x are you getting my point so now let us substitute here this is y is equal to this is simply sine inverse of 2 into what is x i have taken x is sine theta na? let us substitute sine theta into root of 1 minus sine square theta are you getting my point so if you check it here we know that what we know cos square theta plus sine square theta will be what always 1 is it okay so from this what happened to cos square theta cos square theta will be 1 minus sine square theta uh, si try to send the square to the other side from this what i can say cos theta is equal to root of 1 minus sine square theta this is a formula this is evolved from this uh, identity from the trigonometry is it okay hmm. now let us continue so what we'll be getting we'll be getting y is equals to sine inverse of 2 into sine theta what is root of 1 minus sine square that is cos theta is it okay yeah so if you remember we have one more formula what is that formula that is sine 2 theta what is sine 2 theta formula we have learned 2 sine theta into cos theta the right side part everything will be rough work or the formulas try to mention it okay so i'll be applying the same formula i can say that y is equals to sine inverse of this is in the same format 2 sine a cos b so this will be sine 2 theta are you getting my point here hmm. so we can't simply uh, you can't apply sine inverse of sine theta is theta we can do no that is not possible why because they have given some limits we need to do now right so first of all this is a y value hmm? agree so now what should we do let us see the first question what they are telling they are telling that x lies between minus 1 by root 2 to root 2 so now let us consider the first one what they are telling they are telling x value lies between minus 1 by root 2 to root 2 then what we need to do if you want to apply something means you need to check for what 2 theta is it okay so what is x here we have we all we have already taken x is nothing but what sin theta is it okay so from this what i can say I can simply replace this what in the place of x can I replace what sin yes so from this I can say because you can see here x is equal to sin theta I have taken is it okay so from this 1 minus 1 by root 2 into what is this x in place of x I can replace sin theta which is less than it equals to 1 by root so what I want I want 2 theta value right for finding 2 theta value first of all we need to remove the sin here so what I will do I will apply sin on e sin inverse on each and every side is it okay so sine inverse of minus 1 by root 2 which is less than sine inverse of sine theta will be what theta alone we sine inverse of sine theta i'll be applying sine inverse on both the sides are you getting my point here hmm. so the sine inverse of sine theta will be theta why because we know that theta value lies between what minus 90 to positive 90 that is the reason is it okay ah, we know that sine inverse of minus theta will be what minus sine inverse of theta this will be minus sine inverse of 1 by root 2 which is less than or equal to theta which is less than or equal to sine inverse of root 2 is it okay huh. what do we know we know what is sine inverse of 1 by root 2 we know that sine 45 will be what 1 by root 2 is it okay 45 means pi by 4 from this pi by 4 will be what sine inverse of 1 by root 2 so i'll be applying the same formula in our case is it okay so from this what i'll be getting here this is simply nothing but minus pi by 4 less than theta which is less than 
pi by 4 this is crucial step after this what we want so let me zoom out so that you can see but our question is what uh, we need to find 2 theta right what i'll do multiply here i have taken sine inverse on every side now what i have to do i have to multiply 2 multiply multiply 2 is it okay if i multiply by 2 this will be minus 2 into pi by 4 this will be 2 theta and this will be 2 into pi by 4 is it okay hmm. so now let us continue which is nothing but minus pi by 2 less than or equals to this will be what theta which is less than or equals to pi by 2 any doubts up to here yes so whenever what is the formula try to remember we know that sine inverse of sine theta uh, just a second let me write all the formulas in this case so that you will understand okay hmm. so we know that sine inverse of sine theta will be let me write it down if x value lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this will be what this is theta alone okay hmm. let me take a bracket and if it lies between pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 what is the formula sine inverse of sine theta this is pi minus theta no d down and we are having 3 pi let us let me give you 3 pi by 2 to 5 pi by 2 if x value lies between this then we can say that answer will be 2 pi by plus theta 2 pi plus theta so let me give you one more here if it lies between minus 3 pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 then what happened to the sine inverse of sine theta that will be minus pi minus theta i'll be applying the same formulas here okay hmm. so now let me a little bit zoom out uh, so what was our question try to substitute here if uh, what we are having we are having y is equals to sine inverse of sine 2 theta there should be 2 here huh? sine 2 theta what is this if 2 theta lies between minus 90 to plus 90 this will be theta alone here we are having 2 theta so this value will be what simply 2 theta are you getting my point because 2 theta lies between what minus 90 to plus 90 is it okay huh, what is theta i have taken what is theta from this just a second here are you see if you are having any doubt you just let me know in the comment section okay this is a little bit tricky one if you understand obviously we'll be getting so what is 2 theta i can replace here 2 into theta will be sine inverse of x so this is sine inverse of x huh, simply what is y dash y dash will be what is sine inverse of x derivative root 1 by root of 1 minus x square what is this this is the derivative of y dash if where when when x value lies between minus 1 by root 2 to 1 by root 2 any doubts up to here i think you understood this one so first one is done what should we do we have to check for the second question what is the second question here we need to find derivative of this function sine inverse of sine 2 theta what is the interval they have given they have given that in the interval mm, 1 by root 2 to x which is less than 1 that is what they have given you can cross check is it okay so let me do for that so we want what we know that x is equals to we have taken sine theta and uh, theta is equals to sine inverse of x so in place of x what i can say i can replace sine theta 1 by root 2 which is less than sine theta which is less than 1 we want theta so i'll be applying sine inverse so this is sine inverse of 1 by root 2 sine inverse of sine theta will be theta this will be sine inverse of 1 are you getting my point if you have a doubt let me write it down i have applied sine inverse on each and every side this is what i am doing so we know that sine inverse of 1 by root 2 will be what this will be pi by 4 45 degrees just now we have done which is less than this is theta which is less than sine inverse of 1 means what this is 90 at 90 we will be getting 1 is it okay so let me take it as a 90 mm. what we want we want 2 theta so what i'll be doing here multiply with the 2 on each and every side is it okay if you multiply with the 2 we will be getting 2 into pi by 4 which is less than 2 theta which is less than 2 into pi by 2 from this what i can say this is nothing but pi by 2 which is less than 2 theta okay which is less than this will be pi alone huh? so now come to our question what we are having our question here let me zoom out huh? this is y is equal to sine inverse of sine 2 theta if 2 theta lies between pi by 2 to pi i have given what it is pi by 2 to pi we have any formula here yes so this will be pi minus 2 pi by 2 to pi we are having is it okay so uh, do i have given anything here yes 
this will be pi by 2 to pi no ha ah, so this is pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 we have is it okay but we don't have a pi obviously this will be in which case in between only we will have is it okay in between only we will be having here so this will be pi minus theta are you getting my point this is pi minus theta is it okay i will be applying sin inverse of sin theta if what it will be the formula will be pi minus theta when theta lies between where pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 i have given between that only i will be getting what 2 pi is it okay any doubts up to here i think you don't have any doubts so now let us continue here this will be what this is nothing but pi minus theta right so this is pi mm, minus theta in place of theta we are having 2 theta is it okay yeah so from this y is equals to pi minus what is theta theta is nothing but sine inverse of x so let me write it down uh, then what is its derivative what is its derivative pi derivative will be 0 minus 2 into what is sine inverse of x derivative which is nothing but root of 1 minus x square okay so from this what i got i got y dash is equals to minus 2 by root of 1 minus x square is it okay if you have a doubt uh, let us check uh, about what is 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 means 3 into pi by 2 is 90 is it okay um, 9 3 is 270 but we are having what pi pi is 180 obviously 180 will be somewhat inside only is it okay that is the reason i have taken this one is it okay so we have done the second one also what about the third one here they have minus 1 to minus 1 by root 2 let me take the third one in this case yeah so we are having y is equals to sin inverse of sin 2 theta we need to check when x value lies between minus 1 to minus 1 by root 2 mm. what is the substitution we have taken x is equals to sin theta we have taken and theta value will be sin inverse of x if theta lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 is it okay hmm. continue here so we want what we want to find theta what is the yes? x x is nothing but sin theta i will be taking sin theta which is less than minus 1 by root 2 so simply try to apply sin inverse on each and every side if i apply sin inverse on each and every side we will be getting minus sin inverse of 1 uh, less than which is sin uh, okay sin inverse of let me write it down sin inverse of sin theta and this is minus sin inverse of 1 by root 2. We know that sin inverse of minus theta will be what? Minus sin inverse of theta. So, we know that sin inverse of 1 value will be what? It is 90. So, I will be writing pi by 2. Sin inverse of sin theta will be theta because theta lies between pi by 2 to pi. So, this is theta which is less than or equals to what is the 1 by root 2? 1 by root 2 means 45 degrees. So, simply I can take minus pi by 4. We want about what? 2 theta, right? So, we will be multiplying with what? 2. If I multiply with 2, this is minus 2 into pi by 2, which is less than 2 theta, which is less than minus 2 into pi by 4. Are you getting my point here? From this, I can say minus pi, which is less than 2 theta, which is less than minus pi by 2. Any doubts up to here? Yes. So, now let us write the question here. Therefore, we are having y is equals to sine inverse of sine 2 theta. Where 2 theta? 2 theta will lies between minus pi to pi by 2. So, let me check the question minus pi to pi by 2. Is it okay? Uh, so, this is the case minus pi to pi by 2 means here in this, uh, yeah, minus pi to pi by 2. In between, we are having minus pi. Is it okay? Minus pi is 180. So, what is the answer here? Minus pi minus theta. I will be applying this formula in the third case. So, this will be minus pi minus theta. In place of theta, I am having 2 theta. That is what I will be applying here. Is it okay? I think so any doubt, no doubts up to here. So from this what I will be getting y is equals to minus pi minus what is theta I have substituted here sin inverse of x. So now let us substitute which is nothing but 2 into sin inverse of x. So from this if I differentiate the function this will be 0 minus um, this will be 2 as it is what is sin inverse of x root of 1 minus x square. So from this I got y dash is equals to minus 2 by root of 1 minus x square. Are you getting each and every interval what it will happen we have concluded. If you have any doubts you just let me know. I have done first one, second one, third one separately, separately, separately. Is it okay? Okay then. Thank you.